Hello, this is the legend of Grimrock 2. Uh, the crew have decided that we need to go on a uh, look around in the flooded level. There's a flooded level that uh, was a, uh, an amazing level, but uh, there was a flood. And uh, we need to have a look around in the flooded level. This is not the flooded, flooded level. Blimey, what is going on around here? Oh. Oh, of course, it's the um, teleporter room, isn't it? We're going to the teleporter room to check out flooded level. Oh, where's the flipping arrows? <laughs> Yeah, we, if you've got a gold key, you can zip through from the teleporter room, which I marked. There's a gold key thing there. So, just need a gold key, that's all. Um, we missed it. It's back here. So, gold lock. We've got a couple of gold keys. Well worth using one. So you go up here, the teleporter room, straight through to the flooded level. So before you do that, it'd probably be a great idea to grab some of these items. They're all labelled. Um, so you've got Tomb. Um, what's this one? This is the one we want, flooded. Okay, so first of all, we are going to have a little bit of a rest. Um, then we're going to have a look at this one, that's the two, that one is the beach, no it's the flooded one we want, so we go through to the flooded, oh my god there's a flipping rapier right on the floor there, god, how about that, there's a rapier just sitting on the floor, um, that is worth knowing, uh, okay, so, Of course, the first thing you notice is this arch is hollow. Obviously, oh, look at this. Gold keys. Gold keys. We don't want it to be overloaded for gold's sake. Um. Gold keys. Oh, it's a tomb key. But this one. Okay. So we end up down a here. Cool. That's flipping useful. Um, I just realised that they're really low on. Um, I've got some keys out of that. Um, found some of our old arrows. have another sleep I think. It looks like we come here. Um, right, she's got no red juices, nor is he. He's got one. Oh they got they got absolutely flippy, it's terrible. <coughs> right, he's gonna just farm out some red. So that was pretty good. That's a good result. Got none himself. So he's got five. He's got four. She's got four. 
Um, definitely need a couple of these. These are good. And I haven't got any at all. That's crazy. Um, have we got any frost bombs? I don't think so. Always need a few of those. Okay, that'll do. He's overweight. Okay, they're good to go. <coughs> right, so this goes to the spiral of course. You go up here and this goes up to the spiral. The, actually the spiral would be a good place to go for the flooded. Um, so you, you could go up there to the bridge and get the flooded that way. Um, oh, there's all kinds of kit here. Ah. I think he hit the top of that magma golem. So he's come out here. He has come out here for God's sake, which is the mine teleporter room. That is the mine teleporter room. <laughs> so we're talking about checking out the flooded level um, so how do you do that we want to go a few more yeah this is it yeah you go you actually go down here believe it or not this is where you go to check out the flooded okay, so if you're short on f oh my God, if you're short on food this is the flipping place to come are we short on food? I don't think so. But we can always come back here if we get short on food. Use the rope again. And here we are in the flooded. But where are we going to go? This is the thing. Where are we going to go? Um, it is worth having a look around. And of course, if you've got a rapier, then... You can't go wrong, really. Um, do you know where we're going? No. I've got a flipping clue. This is going to cost us. This is going to cost us. Um, what the heck is this all about? I have no idea. Right, this is the rapier situation, of course. Colton Bennett. Wow. So what is the point of this <coughs> level here? Uh, we lost the rack again. Now. So this is, this is your tour of the um, the flooded level. Um, you you know it does help to know what you want to do. I suppose sometimes you can go around the flooded level and get nowhere. Um, yeah, the spiral is probably a good one to go on to. So that's a fake wall. So if you get to the spiral. <coughs> which is on the beach. So we just go to the spiral, get on the um, bridge. That leads you straight through. Two. 
a spiral. So you can head down to the spiral <coughs> and um, when you get there, I think we took the long way round, um, but anyway, as long as you get there, I suppose that's the main thing. <coughs> right, so this is the, um, the gateway to the spiral and from the spiral you get to the flooded, but the flooded has got many different... Uh, got like different locations so where do we want to go I heard somebody always oh, him Right, we're going to that bridge. The bridge takes you to the flooded. So we're here. This is the bridge. It takes you to the flooded, but uh, there are different areas of the flooded. We're going to a really good area of the flooded. Oh yeah, I remember there's another flooded you can go to. It's a completely different flooded one you can go to. Anyway, this is another one you can go to. This is the Serpent Blade one. I mean, they're all worth checking out. I mean... Tome of Water, of course. Um, I'm not really spending much time having a look around. Um, because it is pretty big. Uh, if you spend a lot of time looking around, it can be a bit dangerous. But this part of the flooded is quite rare. Um, unless you know that you're going to get here from the spiral. See, for instance, there is the flipping serpent sword right at the end of all that lot I think she qualified, yes she is, she is qualified on it, yeah I think we can actually have a chance for a little rest in here with a bit of luck. Maybe we can bring our mate back. Has he got any resus potions? Uh, yeah, correct, we do. He's back! He's back! Right, we're doing well, we're doing well. Okay, so what happens up here? Cube key. Got a cube key. I like that. Now that is good. <laughs> 200 on that serpent blade. Wow! A 200 on that flipping serpent blade. That's unbelievable. That is pretty impressive. So we just found the cube key. And of course that gets you in to the Goblin Forest. And that is quite a, quite a good fun. I've got to say that's one of the more fun levels on the game, definitely. Oh, his trap door's opened. Um. Let's 
We've got a trapdoor in here now. Not sure about that. Um, what is she supposed to do? Oh, she's got tone with water. Good, 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 good. So she can go up on um, critical, I suppose. Quite like that. Um, she can definitely have that. Okay, uh, that's pretty good. Like that. So I'm going to save it now. We've got the we've got the cube key that fits the goblin forest entrance. Um, that is definitely worth having. Um, I'm just going to try out this trapdoor. Might go nowhere. We don't know. Uh, oh, it just takes you back down to the. This bit is fine. Okay. In fact, is that a good idea? doesn't really matter to be honest. doesn't really... Uh... Okay, yeah, 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 I like that. Uh, we're going to go down... Oh, this is a lot more peaceful down here, isn't it? This is a lot more peaceful. I wonder if you can give him a blast at the old one. Yeah, it does work. It does work. Anyway, we are going to actually, for the first time ever, use the rope to go down on this one. So what I'm doing now is the last flooded section which is down here. The last flooded section that is of interest is down here and this is quite a good one. I mean they've all been good. Um, flooded section number four I think it is. Go down this one. See look this is actually the flooded level. You'd never believe it would you? But in fact it is. Now if you drop down here. Got this flipping lot. Look at this. Wowzers. Oh my god, look at this. Jeweled Scepter of Ruling. Wow! That is not bad, is it? Um, okay, that's a bit heavy for her. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you what. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Now, that's not bad at all. Um, okay, now we've got to get out of here. So where the heck does this go? I do not know. It's probably a case of keeping them topped up on health potions, but that's been well worth it. Um, oh, we just come back out onto this part. We've been here before. Oh, sod it. Um, okay. This is where we got the flipping serpent blade. Been here before. Definitely have. Got the serpent blade from here. Pretty sure. Yeah, look. There's that shelf that we went to. So we're back on here. Um, very strange place this. Oh right, we've just gone round in a circle I think. We have. We've just gone gone round and this is this is we went down this trapdoor a minute ago. Um, so those are all the flooded areas that are worth looking at. I mean they're all pretty damn bloody good. Bad at all that. Uh, so I think probably the idea now is to head down to the goblin forest. Um and Oh. I think we went too far down. Um that's alright, it doesn't matter. We can soon sort that out. Um so just to use that um, Q key, what happens is you can use the stairs up to the tomb level to get through to the goblin forest, which is a really good idea. So the goblin forest is actually on this level. Um, if you remember, This is not the Goblin Forest, this is the flipping Frozen Forest. Wrong forest. Sorry, that was the wrong one. But I just I was a bit shocked to see that door open. This is the lock for the Goblin Forest right here. So obviously it's a damn good idea to do a bit of preparation. Um, and basically do a save. 
something like that um, because there is a goblin forest uh, resistance group or whatever where's the key oh here it is here look put the key in all this starts going off and you can't even get out this way <laughs> you're sealed in so basically you either oh look this dual scepter of ruling this is where it comes in so damn good See, that is top. Oh. We are now going to enter the Goblin Forest. Here it is! Oh my goodness, we're here. Doesn't it look fabulous? Looks absolutely fabulous. So, this is the Spiral Dungeon. That's a bit odd. Very strange. So, we're looking for the Honor. Uh, not the Honor, the Val Valor Armor. This is the way that you can find the Valor Armor. It's not guaranteed. But I just discovered this days ago you go on this side track go on this side track this is the spiral dungeon right so you find yourself in a very odd place this is strange but this is a way marker to the Valor Armour, which is the top armour. I think you'll find that is the top armour that you can get. Um, what happens is you do a return to the Bramble. Seems like a waste of time. Is it a waste of time? Is it a waste of time? Yes, it is. Uh, it could be a great idea to do this. Um, but, uh, oh, wait a minute. We need to go in there. It could have been shut the last time we came here. Um, sometimes you come to the Bramble and find that it needs a revisit. See, these areas we never went to. And uh, you're going to get the, uh, the Valor Armour, which is absolutely fabulous. We've got some fabulous armour already, but the Valor Armour is the top. And it's not very well guarded, if you can get it. As I said, it's not guaranteed. But I found that I could get it, so if I could get it, you could probably get it. Don't know, you, you, it's not a hard and fast rule. It actually depends where you've already been. So let's have a look on the map. See, we haven't been to these areas. Oh, there's a fabulous... There really is a fabulous flipping necklace here to be had. See, he's got that, which is great. 
This one is the Crystal Amulet. Where it gains immunity to poison, disease, paralysis. I mean, honestly, that is superb. Oh, I'm getting surrounded. Um, this could be the place, couldn't it? Oh, we got we got a larder. We blundered into a larder. Yeah, look, here's the stairs up to the Valor Armor, I think you'll find. But we have come to the Valor Armor. This is so worth doing. So... Here it is! Here... Is Valar armor of a different color. This stuff is absolutely gorgeous. 